Rulesdale Stakes will close day three. It's a 0 to one twenty handicap in the SO world. It's a Phillies Group Two in real life. But anyway, let's have a look at this Denver Racker at the top as one. That one three races ago. Looking at the, at the form for the rest of them. Nothing too spectacular, but you don't really know what races they've been in. Do Tomodachi Magic's also a winner, but one or two of those may have been running in top class company. We shall see. And they're all installed, and away they go, and it's a pretty good break. They're all pretty much even there, with Legend on the inside being pushed along to try and keep that inside rail, pulling for its head, wants to go a little bit quicker. Jockey wants to keep a bit of a grip on it, but he's quite happy to let it go on to lead by a couple to the grey. Dolores Abernathy in second. And then Chlorine is in third, with Move With Me fourth. Tomodachi Magic in the... Khalid Abdullah colours is next. Well, we shouldn't call them the Khalid Abdullah colours, should we? Because they're the Steve Ran colours in this. And is Steve Rand really Khalid Abdullah? That's something I have to try and find out. Stranger things have happened. The legend is in the lead then. By about three. We might even find out that Joshua Sutherland is really Dennis the Menace, but that's probably even less likely than... Um, Steve Rand being Khalid Abdullah. Anyway, Sheikh Mohammed might even be Darren Thompson, but who knows anyway, as we rake our way down towards the final seven furlongs. It's been a long week. And uh, Legend in the lead from Dolores Abernathy second. And Chlorine third. And Tomodachi Magic and Denver Baraka move with me after that one. And then Duchess of Epsom with Prim and Proper on the inside and the one on the far side. That's just about the back marker, I think, is Rise All Star, but now Tushies of Epsom has probably dropped to the back. So they're racing down towards the final four and a half furlongs, and Legend is in the lead. The grey Dolores Abernathy is being driven up in second, and Tomodachi Magic is close up in third. These three are a good two or three lengths clear of the rest of them, with Chlorine being scrubbed along, and all the ones behind that one being scrubbed along as well, with the exception of Duchess of Epsom, who seems quite happy to just be tucked in at the back and um, watching everybody else racing away but there's only two and a half furlongs to go and they're going to have to sort of put their best foot forward in a minute to get to this legend because the legend doesn't look like it's stopping at the moment and it's a good three lengths clear from Tomodachi Magic and Dolores Abernathy Prim and Proper and Denver Baraka are trying to make a bit of ground so too is Rise All Star we can forget the back three they're past the final furlong and this legend is in the lead and they're getting a little bit closer but they're going to have to get a little bit closer a little bit quicker I think legend now beginning to tie up and Dolores Abernathy takes it up from Tomodachi Magic and Dolores Abernathy wins it Tomodachi Magic second Prim and Proper third and that's your day one at Royal Ascot SO7 Season 2, the lockdown season. And there's a steward's inquiry as well, but I can't really see anything's going to happen there. No, Dolores Abernathy takes it for Dan Hughes. He's got some pretty decent fillies this season, hasn't he? That one takes it quite nicely. Todashi Magic for Steve Rand second. Prim and Proper, Ryan Tamas, semi third. Rise All Star, Thomas Rogers fourth. Denver Baraka for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.